Hi everyone, Jordan from Entech here. Today we're going to show you how to record a simple show to your S Play so you can push pretty patterns out to your pixels. What we'll need for today is our S Play, a momentary push button, a laptop or desktop running our Elm software, and a pixel lighting rig. We're using our Octo and some 12 volt tape. We'll start off by powering up our S Play and connecting it to our network switch. Next, we'll make sure we can connect to our S Play's homepage. Fantastic. We'll minimize that for the time being and move back to our pixel rig. Our pixel rig today consists of our Octo and the 12 volt pixel bar that we made during our LED series. Be sure to check it out if you're interested in how we made it. This one meter bar uses our 8PX60-12-B, which means we have 60 RGB LEDs. And in this case, each LED is one pixel. Now, let's go back to our Elm software and start mapping this out. We'll create a new stage. The default dimensions will be fine. Now, we'll add our strip of 60 LEDs. For the data setting, we'll use the ArtNet protocol. And we'll start off at universe zero. Now, our strips are created and they'll be automatically spread out at the top of the page. Let's go to the settings at the bottom and we'll shrink the width down to something more manageable like 400 pixels. And we'll drag the strip to the center of the screen. Great, now they're mapped, let's chuck up some media content. I'm gonna to go to the media page and add some effects. I'm liking the look of bubble soap, plasma rainbow and water caustic. Now, going to live, I can start playing these patterns out. I can also go back to the stage and pull up my monitor to get a sneak peek of what my LEDs are doing. Once we're happy with the media we're playing, we have to send this out to the S Play so it can listen and record. We'll go to the settings tab, then Artnet, and since we've mapped the strips as Artnet strips, the first universe, universe 000, appears highlighted because we've got things mapped to it. We want to make sure our adapter is set to our computer's network adapter. We do not want the inside this computer option. Now we can enter the S Play's IP address into the box. Now Elm is sending all its data via Artnet to the S Play. Let's head back to the S Play webpage and start recording. We want to record a dynamic moving show. So we'll go to our Q library and select dynamic recording as our Q type. Next, we'll go to Edit Record. We're sending Artnet from Elm, so we want to be recording Artnet in. We've already set Elm to send on Universe 000, so we'll only need to record the first input. Now, we'll click Start Recording to begin. Immediately, we'll see channel numbers changing. This represents all the red, green, and blue channels dancing around to create the patterns Elm is sending. When we're ready, we can stop and save our recording. Now we have our 20 second long recording. I want this show to activate at the push of a button. So let's set up our push button trigger. We'll go to the triggers tab and create a new trigger. We'll select digital input as the type and we'll select port one. This means our trigger needs to be wired up to port one here. Now we can create our playlist Let's set our start trigger to the digital input trigger we just made. And I'll set this to loop infinitely. Now that I'm done with my playlist, I can save it. The final step is to program the S Play so that it's sending the show data out to the Octo. We'll go to settings and then configure Artnet. We need to send Universe Zero to the Octo, which is on this IP address. I'll enable Unicast here and type in this address and then scroll down and click update to save my settings. Great, so now my S Play will send my show data straight to the Yocto and will activate at the push of a button. Let's connect everything up and see how it goes. That's it for this video. Like, share and subscribe if you found this video useful. Comment down below if you have any questions or you think there's something that we missed. Don't forget to check out our social media pages and stay tuned for more helpful and tech tips.